Hi guys, this is Ben. I wanted to show you how to set up the Xerox app gallery. Um, so what you'll do is just go ahead and hit, hit the Xerox app gallery icon. And if you don't have an account set up already, you'll put in um, request an account. And then you'll put in your email address. Then you will be sent the instructions on setting up an account to the email address that you provided. So you will receive an email like this, and then what you'll want to do is click on this link. Then you will receive um, a window pop up here, then you'll select I agree. Then you'll go ahead and create a username and password. So I'm just going to do PDS demo. Then put in a password twice. Then add your first name, last name, and company name. Select your country, hit OK. Then you'll go ahead and sign in. There you go. It's successfully been created and activated. So now let's go ahead and go back to the Xerox machine. Um, this is the uh, web page of the app gallery that you can see from your browser. And you can um, load devices from here as well if you wanted to and push them out to the device. So you could um, select the devices, go ahead and add, and then you could type in the IP address, username and password of the device, and then add them here. Or you can go ahead and go straight to the device here and sign into the app gallery and then install them right from the machine. I'll go over the more you know, advanced installing them from your, your browser later because then you could push it out to multiple devices. So we'll go ahead and sign in here, PDS demo, put in the password. Hit OK. It may run through an update on the app. That's completely normal. So it's going it's going to update it to the very latest version. And once it's complete, you hit exit, and then you'll restart the app. Here we go. So we should be signed in. Let's double check. Uh, I'll go ahead and sign in again. There you have it. We're signed in as PDS, and it shows all the apps available, and then any of the apps that are already installed. You can go ahead and update your apps right from here. So we'll go ahead and make sure they're, it's the latest update. It's just really like the App Store on your iPhone or your Android. So same concept. I'm going to go ahead and go back to all the apps. Um, a few of the apps I would install right away are the print by Xerox and then the billboard app. It's really a very cool app that will display a um, screensaver on your Xerox machine.
so you can add any messages right on the device. We'll go over that in later tutorials. Let's see, what else here? I would go ahead and do the Dropbox. Hit I agree. So pretty quick and seamless process to install the apps. You don't really have to have a lot of technical know-how. Um, just need to be able to sign in to the account and then um, load the apps. So we're going to go ahead and load some of the more popular ones, like print and scan to Google Drive. And then the Xerox Easy Translate is another one that uh, comes in handy. This will basically translate any document you scan, you know, any language, English, Chinese, Spanish, into whatever language that you want. And it's very accurate. Okay, there you have it. So we can now go back to the home screen and there are all the apps available so then you'll just go ahead and uh, sign in to the app and then scan or print right from dropbox or google drive or whatever um, you have set up Enter the password. Super secure password. And uh, you will need to sign in every time you do access the device to your Dropbox account. Then you can print from Dropbox or scan to Dropbox. So I've got an example here. Um, app gallery brochure I want to print off. And then you can choose single sided, um, two sided, and black and white or color, how many copies that you want. Hit print, and there you have it. It's going to print right to the device. You And basically, you can walk up to any of the Xerox devices, and it will essentially. Um, allow you to sign into any account on any Xerox device on any floor and print or scan any of your documents that you have in Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, SharePoint, whatever um, you know, document management or or a scanning or a, a syncing app that you have. So there, there you have it. Um, and then you can go ahead and scan to uh, as a PDF or JPEG right into the folder as well. So another app that I would go ahead and uh, use right away. This is uh, free. Is Print by Xerox, and this app is really great. If you don't have an account set up, all you have to do is email and a, a document right to Print by Print at PrintbyXerox.com. So if you have a login, uh, you can log in here to print by Xerox. If you don't, uh, just sending an email to this will automatically set you up an account and initiate you to create a login. So I already have an account set up here, so we'll go ahead and do my email. Hit OK. And then my super secure password and it will go ahead and log in. So see how cool this is? I forwarded this email with an attachment to uh, print at printbyxerox.com. And here are all my documents. So I could do that if I'm at home or you say I need to print this off at the office at some point. And I don't want to think about it. I don't want to have to remember when I get to the office I need to print or I need to you know, log into my computer to go to print it or 
say you have a receipt you just want to send or forward to that email. As long as it's coming from your email address, then it will all be in the same account. So see, this is my bead of wreaths uh, email. And so you can choose what you want to print. So I just want to go ahead and print this, um, this attachment. So you can go ahead and select print settings, choose color, whether you want it to staple, how many copies that you want, and then just hit print. So it's sending it right to the Xerox. So just think of how you could use this. So if you're at any of the Xerox devices in your building, no matter what floor it is, as long as this app's installed on your Xerox devices, you walk up to whatever device you want. You don't have to be on the Wi-Fi. Um, you just sign into your account and print off your document and you are good to go. Now, if you don't see your uh, app gallery icon here, you just need to um, go to device and then make sure you log in. So the default um, is admin and then that's the username and then the password is one 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 super secure again <laughs> then what you'll do is go down to tools then you go to app settings display then you'll see on the very bottom is the app gallery actually on this device it's right here so usually this will be unchecked so you just go ahead and check it and then hit OK, and then you could remove any of the other um, buttons on there if you wanted to. Like I'm going to go ahead and put facts on there, and then everything else looks good. Yeah, workflow scanning emails there, and then all the rest of the apps are on there. So let's go ahead and hit OK. Then it's going to go ahead and register it and put it on the machine's interface. So that's it. That's all you have to do. And the apps are all set up. I'll come back around and, and uh, do another video and show you kind of how to use the Billboard app. And um, But the other apps are pretty self-explanatory. You basically sign in and choose your document and print or scan right to it. That's it. Thanks. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to email me at uh, ben at pds-co.com.